already hurts. I'm smiling so hard. <laughs> Honestly, I have had the pleasure of sitting at this table with Oscar winners and presidents and first ladies. My hands are shaking. It's Phil Collins! <laughs> it is a huge pleasure to have you here. Oh, Thank you. Stop it. It is. It's so true. Uh, you know, I just read um, Phil's book. I won't call it a memoir. I'm just going to call it what it is. Not dead yet. One of my favorite titles ever. <laughs> I just finished reading this. I read it in two and a half days. It was a fabulous visit. I loved Thank it. You. Thank you very much. Yeah. And I kind of love that it gets you from literally the first line of the book. It starts out with, I can't hear a thing. <laughs> And he's in the shower. And that was in March of this year. What I love about the book is how complete it is. It really is a full story. Yeah, it, we, we took it up to uh, almost present day. I mean, you know, I mean, Literally. that's the trouble with autobiographies is, is that where do you stop? You know, you either stop 20 years ago because that was a certain end of an era. I mean, I, I have to say, I, I wrote a history book on the Alamo in Texas, and that was in 2010. And I had such a great time writing that that I, I carried on writing. Uh, and I, because I wanted to do an autobiography since the 90s, mm. um, but I felt I hadn't really finished yet. So I started doing it, and I wrote the early years, you know, because that was the fun stuff to me. <laughs> when I got to the music, I kind of just glazed over, you know, because it was so dense. Yeah. And one of the things that I, I learned from the book, from writing it, was how much I worked. And I just never thought about it at the time. Um, it just was one thing after the other. One tour, you know, touring in those days was a bit different from now. You know, I mean, you went on tour like you go, on, you went to war, and you weren't quite sure if you were going to come back. <laughs> and uh, you know, it was kind of uh, there were long-term things. They put a lot of strain on family life. And when you see that in one go, when you see that in one chunk. And you think, how the hell did I do that? And then I got a career, so the Genesis stuff and my stuff we're, we're going on simultaneously. We're leapfrogging, yeah. That's when, as the reader, you're like, whoa, like I work a lot of jobs, and I'm like, Phil, slow it down, baby. Uh, <laughs> I know. It was, it was it was a lot to take in, um, and, and I put, you know, I, I asked my partners, a lot of my partners, yeah. and I've been. I've been very, very honest in the book. Um, very honest, and it's it's fun too. Like there's there's oh, yeah. fun. It's not it's not a all heavy stuff. That's what I was it, about to say. Yeah. You know, because, you know, you start talking about this, and, and it was you know, how I mean, music gave me everything, but took things away. You know, all that stuff. But it's it's actually very. It's it is it's, it is a funny book. I mean, it's <laughs> English humor, but it. <laughs> you know. Which I appreciate deeply as an Italian American. <laughs>